I uh, just sold seven policies in the last meeting. Uh, so that put me at, what, 32? Um, so far today, or, th or no, 31, um, which I believe that puts me at one, uh, 121 so far for the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So doing good on that. Hey, uh, put in the notes of this uh, Facebook Live, finish strong, nobody cares if you're tired. It's something that I've been just super intrigued by lately and in observing people's behaviors uh, in the professional setting at work. single biggest indicator in my mind, the single biggest indicator of, uh, of someone that's going to be successful is how they operate at a high level, they execute at a high level even when they don't feel like it. So when you're tired, when you don't feel well, when you're doing something that's not fun, when you're doing something that you're not interested in doing but you're still able to do it at a high level. It's one thing when we talk about, because you know, I talk about do it anyway all the time. Do it anyway, do it anyway. Do it anyway. You do it anyway. Do it anyway. Did it anyway. I do it anyway. You know, who cares what you feel like? Do it anyway. Do it anyway. Well, it's one thing to do it anyway. It's another to do it anyway and do it at an extremely high level. That feeling of knowing that something sucks really bad, like knowing that like that little moment and those defining moments where I could have laid in bed a little longer, I could have got up and got on my day and get this thing started, knowing that I'm doing the right thing because I can I physically feel it and choosing the right thing to do, how many opportunities do you have in your life to do that on a daily consistent basis? And it's just, with your work ethic. Because just when you say the word defining, defining sounds like this grandiose, it sounds like this large, monumental, yeah. life-changing thing, but it's so small and they're hidden throughout your day. Yep. And the way that you identify them is become by becoming more self-aware. When this clock strikes 12 here in 30 minutes, I will turn 33 because my birthday is tomorrow and I plan on spending it doing exactly what I did today, which is work another 19 hours, get another workout in tomorrow night after working 17 hours straight when I feel like my head's about to explode and I need to take a nap, but doing it anyway, and because um, that's just the way I want to do it. But the moral of the story is, it would have been so easy to stay back in Greenville after throwing up 40 times yesterday. After waking up at four o'clock with no food and knowing that I had, you know, 10 hours worth of travel to do to get here. It would have been easy once I got here and, and my stomach was starting to cramp up like that to be like, hey, drama, I'm not going to be able to make it. Knowing that it would be really difficult to reschedule a meeting like that. But you do it anyway. We said that we would put out this vlog every day, so we're putting out the vlog every day. I said I would do the interview, so I'm doing the interview. Because at the end of the day, it may be... <laughs> It may be worse if you do it anyway if you're just kind of showing up and you're not putting it uh, uh, putting in a full effort so it's being able to pursue at a high level still when you don't feel like doing it